And this is brother... Juan Lopez. Juan Lopez, and he's a graduate from 1996, he Yes, said? 1996. I came through with brother Album, with brother Album in, in the home. Oh. Brother, Pastor Ephraim was brother Ephraim. Yeah. Yeah, sister Fani, his daughter, and Ernie, his son. And uh, yeah, we had a wonderful time. So come on over to the outreach where everybody's praising the Lord. So tell us a little bit of your testimony. Well, um, I'm from North Philadelphia. Uh, in the in the '90s, um, I was in and out of uh, prison, uh, oh, yeah. addicted to crack, and um, I just so happened to be in a real bad situation where I had I had a broken leg, and my sister was trying to help me find a place to live, and she happened to run across Victory Outreach, yeah. and that's how I came to the men's home. Oh. And I came there, and I liked it, and I stayed, and I had fun. I went everywhere. I went everywhere with him. I went, I went down to uh, uh, Lando, Florida, and was uh, working working with them down at the hotels. I was over at uh, I was in Boston with the pastor, riding around yeah. for a little bit. Uh, we went to the World Conference where fire fell out the sky. So huh? Jesus, Jesus came into your life when you came to Victory Outreach? That's where I got saved at. Wow. That's where I got saved, 1996. A wonderful thing, right? It, absolutely wonderful. You've been redeemed. And, and I, my life has never been the same. Amen. Yeah, yes. yeah. You leave all that drugs and addiction behind, right? Yes, you do. That's yes, what happened do. with me. Okay. 40 years ago, I got saved and uh, oh, man. been clean wonderful. ever since. Okay. You know? Yes. I just turned over all the drugs and... Flushed them down the toilet. Yes. I had a whole bunch of them in my possession when I got saved. And I okay. said, what am I going to do with these? <laughs> no, no more use for them, huh? Let's flush them. Yeah. And uh, I think that act really uh, helped me make, you know, have a clean break with them. You okay. Know? And because uh, it was it was quite a bit of money at, for a guy that made like five dollars an hour. You know, I spent a lot of money on these drugs and all well, this. Well, we, we all did what we used. We, we, no matter what we made, we spent. Yeah, and we, right. And we used it. Yeah. No matter how much it was, it was never enough. And Jesus sets us free from that. Yes, he does. That's just a, yeah, you just can't explain it to somebody who doesn't know, right? You try right. to, you, you try, try to, you try to introduce them to Jesus, but sometimes they're just, they're not going to hear it. Right. And but that, you got to keep going. Amen. You can't never stop because yeah. it was a time when I wasn't listening. Yeah. And then one day I did hear. Yeah. You know, so you you can't stop. You always yeah. have to be there for for whosoever. Yeah, there was a time when I wasn't listening either. You know. But uh, one yeah. day, one day it went through. <laughs> one day it got through. Yes, the message. Well, he uh, entered my life and changed me all up and yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's been really nice. Again, your name? Juan. Juan, yes. yes. So it's been really nice talking to you, and God bless, and thank you for doing this. Oh, you're welcome, and God bless you too.